Hello everybody, this is Froni Tavalbin here and welcome back to Train Simulator 2. Well, welcome to Train Simulator 2, the actual game, because now we are being, we are screen recording, yeah. We are not using my mommy's iPad to film my own iPad, we are using a screen recorder, yes. So, so now all Train Simulator 2 videos will be, will be in this so, sort of format from now on. And today we're going to be driving the Amtrak Asala Express, the fastest train in all of America. And we're currently here at Trenton on the Frony 13 corridor line, which is my own custom route. Still a work in progress. As you can see, there's a new maglev line there. Uh, I've done some stuff with this line er uh, ever since you last saw it. I've added a maglev route, but uh, I'll talk about that later. Anyway, we're going to get going now. We're going to... We're gonna go to, well, we're gonna go to um Timbuk too. Wheel slip, come on. It's so easy. It's so easy to wheel slip trains in this game. And this, the Acela Express, being, well, this this train was my childhood. That's for one thing. Yep, this train was my childhood. Which is why it's my favorite train of all time. So, so no soon we'll be entering a speed limit of 180 miles an hour, which is down the the long straightaway, which is the uh, which is the first or this is the um, well, depending on where you're coming from, this is one of the racetrack portions of this route. Can we put on a bit more throttle now? Yeah. I've turned derailments off so we can't crash. I probably shouldn't have done that because we have to end this video at some point. Alright, we've entered the 180 mile an hour speed limit. So this is the speed where this is the section of the line where we can test the train's speed and go as fast as we can possibly go. We just went through a thing. Also drinking some water during this video because I haven't had water since a while. Hmm. I wonder where that track goes to. Probably somewhere mysterious. We're coming up on Hamilton Station. Here's Hamilton. If we look over there, we can see the Maglev line. Uh, still, still some stuff needs to be done on the on that Maglev line before it can be opened. Well, it's sort of opened, but it's not completely opened. I need to find out how I can program the trains to go across switches. Or else I can only have a single track. But I'm going to keep trying stuff. We are nearing this train's top speed on the on the thingy, 150 miles an hour. Well, it's not the train's top speed, but it's the top speed that this train would travel back on the northeast corridor. But this is the Frony 13 corridor, and we're still in the 180 mile an hour speed limit. We're coming up on New Brunswick. Do 
just be aware that this line is unfinished and still still being worked on. Well, I mean, this line is like more than 70% completed. It's 75. It's like, I don't know. Well, I guess we can just say that this line is like 75% completed. Still need to put down trees and add buildings to the stations and add extra stuff to make the line the line look more beauty more look more detailed and stuff which is important and I also need to uh, focus on programming the AI trains which is another very important part well it's the most important part all right we're approaching 170 by 170 miles an hour Going pretty fast. Yeah, you can see the Canton area is riding on that track. Yeah, you can tell this line is unfinished. We're almost traveling up to the speed limit. Uh oh, we need to slow down. Wait, what? Well, now we're entering a corner into a 110 mile an hour speed limit or 109. Come on, why didn't the game tell us about this a lot sooner? Now we're speeding. If the realments were turned on, we would crash. Now we're going past Metro Park. I guess we'll just cruise at 110 miles an hour. We don't have to worry about points and stuff, so let's just go up to 120. And then we'll just cruise there. Wait, why are we not accelerating? Come on. I want to get up to the 120. Obviously, this train doesn't sound realistic, but it was originally made in 2010, a long time ago. But it didn't come to this. It didn't come to. It didn't. It. It did not come to this game until very recently. So, there you go. 117. I want to get to 120. I just want to get up to 120 and stay there. We'll put 18% throttle. So now we're going into a 55 mile an hour speed limit. This is the curve going by Elizabeth. Yeah, now we're going through stuff. Yeah. Yeah, some stuff in this line is in pretty early access. Well, um, access. Well, actually, at this point, I wouldn't really say it's, it's, you could say it's around, uh, 60% completed. Still need to put down scenery, still need to program the AI trains, and still need to perfect the maglev route. Because the maglev route doesn't actually work yet, because I still need to program some switches, uh, I'm thinking about contacting the developers of this game because you can do that. I'm going to ask them how can I program switches in to the maglev system because I can't seem to do it with the um with the special switches that they have as a part of the uh the maglev system. We're approaching the mountain station. That section of the track needs a bit of work. I want to make it smoother because, of course, this is a high speed line. Not a super high speed line like the Japanese bullet train, but a, a high speed line like the Northeast Corridor. Which is actually what this route is based on the Northeast Corridor, mainly the section between New York and Philadelphia. Except the front 13 corridor, you have the possibility to go in a roundabout. 
So we're coming up on Mountain Station. So plan will uh, we will end up at Trenton um, at the end of this video. But for this time, we're just gonna we're gonna do the whole route of the Frony 13 corridor, and you can see it in all its glory. All right, now we're speeding, and you go to 19 throttle. All right, we're accelerating. This isn't good. I'm gonna go back to 18. Are we stuck at 125? Nope, still accelerating. All right, 17. 17. All right, 17 miles and se not 17. 17 percent, 17 notch throttle. Okay, where are we gonna be at this? All right, we're at 125. I wish that they had a cruise control feature in this train because you know, in real life, this train actually has cruise control, but not in this game. But the train can't seem to stick to that thing, so I'm gonna put it up to 18, I suppose. There's a random tree there. Interesting. I'm also thinking about having a wacky time lapse version. Well, it's not. I mean, blah, 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 blah. it's not going to be wacky because, well, I, I'm of course I'm recording the sound of the game and the commentary in the same in the same video. So I'm also planning on doing a time lapse version of this ride, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to put on some music. I have a plan for music. It's going to be relaxing. We can see the maglev system in the distance. There it is. There's the maglev. Unfortunately, we, we um, since the maglev trains aren't yet correctly programmed, uh, we won't be seeing any maglev trains on that track unfortunately all right uh, was there a lot of noise there? If so, I apologize. We are now going through Heather, which is the final station of going this way on the, uh, on the, uh, the New Jersey Transit section of this line, and, uh, the express train would, of uh, the Acela Express would normally stop at that station, but not today. So soon we'll be, um, soon we will be, I forgot what I was going to say, soon we are going to be exiting the New Jersey Transit section and we'll go into the, uh, ugh, I forgot what I was going to say. We will also go into the thingy me jiggy. The SEPTA section of this route. Yeah, there you go. Up to 128. Alright, now we're going through this part of the line underneath the maglev track oh 
Alrighty. And here we go under the track that that where the septic trains will go. And now we are into the septa section of the route. So um, and possibly sometime we will see a septic train because, well, because septic trains are sort of programmed into this, but not completely. Like, like there are trains, but it's only the engine and two cars and it doesn't stop at any stations. Basically as a test for septic trains and stuff. But of course, septic trains will be fully, uh, you know, fully programmed to stop at all the stations that it needs to. And we will soon be entering the next 180 mile an hour section. This is the other one in this route. So we'll be able to go up to full throttle to test out the speed of this train. Here it is. And speed is up to 180 miles an hour, full throttle down the down this racetrack portion. So yeah, while the speed limit is 180 miles an hour, the track is completely straight. So we can go as fast as we possibly can. Here we go. Can we reach the speed limit? That is a thing, because this train can do it. And now we're going by Highville, I think the station is called. What's the station called? I don't remember. I think it was Highville, but I don't remember. That's one of the stations on this on the Septa side of the line. Right. Up to 150 again. And uh, so we will be passing we will be going through another Septa station before the end of the uh, before the end of the 180 mile an hour section There's a septic train. Hello, septic train. And here is the second station. We're up to 171 miles an hour. This is the second station before the end of the 180 mile an hour section. And we are getting close to there, so we shall now slow down. Ah. Didn't tell us again. Ugh. All right. So I guess it's 18 percent, 18 knots throttle. Alrighty. We're holding our speed pretty well. I mean, it's accelerating by like a tiny, teeny, tiny bit, but that's fine. So yeah, plan, once we've reached the end of this thing, once we reach Trenton, that'll be the end of this video, and there's another station, and of course I've forgotten the name, yep, these are my own stations and I've forgotten the name of them, fantastic, it's like, I know all the New Jersey transit stations, but I know none of the SEPTA stations.
Yeah, I need to put a lot more of those stick things down in the corners because it's not sticking next to the track, which is unrealistic. If you know what I mean. Uh, seems there's a bump in the track. We're coming up on another station. I think this one is called Princeton Junkies. And there's another train. Hello, train. Yeah. We're coming up on a station, and I don't remember the name of it. Yeah. When the track is going to part, that's going to have to be fixed. The station is... I forgot. I think it was Princeton Junction or something like that. I don't remember. I would let this train drive itself, but no, I want to take control. I know how to drive trains. I've been doing it for years. And I'm, not, and I'm not joking. Actually, years. So now we're going through the deserty, mountainy section of this of the route. Not very long, but I thought I would put it in the route just to make it look, look better. Yeah. Track is a bit twisty through here. Look at that. Cool, isn't it? I'll lay off on the throttle a bit. And back on the Greenlands. We're almost at Trenton. Back up on the throttle a bit. Okay, that didn't help a bit. All right, eighteen. Ah, uh, is that gonna do it? Nah. Coming up on the next station. Of course, I've forgotten its name. It says so right there. I think it's. I don't know. I couldn't see it. I think we're almost at Trenton. Yep, we're almost at Trenton. So we're going to start slowing down now.
careful not too much. To put on initial break. Yeah. Easy so they slow down really quickly, even in realistic mode. Here we go through this forest. Soon the whole line will be looking like this. There will be trees everywhere on the side of the line. I don't know why I slowed down this soon. I should have known the brakes were better than this. Or better than what I thought. When we when these trees go away again, I'll uh, put the put some throttle back on. But we're almost at Trenton, where we started. Because this line is a whole loop. Alright. We are now approaching Trenton, so we'll slow down some more. I think I hear a, a septic train. There's the maglev. Another septic train there. Here we are, Trenton. Right, break, stop, stop, stop. Yep. Well, I don't, it doesn't really matter because only the locomotive is past the platform. The coaches are obviously on the platform. But that is it. So, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Gonna be doing some more work on the 413 quarter before we do return to the route. And I will, I will see you in the next video.